I was really unhappy. I got home after my first day and I was like, fuck, like, what have I done? So I graduated. My graduation day was so fun. I, I mean, the graduation was itself was pretty long and tiring, but it was nice to be with my colleagues and uh, my classmates and just getting the diploma and just being having your name called out, knowing that you finally made it. So it was really great. And then I went to um, like brunch slash breakfast with my family after and it was so great. Like I wish I could relive that day. And then I had friends over for dinner and it was just such a great time. We played games, we ate. Well, look how she ate that. It was just such a good time. And honestly, it just felt like everything was gonna go my way from, from there on. It's not that things aren't great anymore. It's just that this is kind of a little bit of a setback. It's okay. Life will have its setbacks, and I'm glad that I made the decision to not continue with that job anymore because I knew I wasn't going to be happy. And yeah, I mean, a paycheck is really nice, and thankfully, again, I still have my part-time job, but I don't think it's worth doing something that you don't love just for a paycheck, unless like it's really severe and you need to pay the ch like your bills and you know, then yeah, obviously, like we would be in different shoes, but um. Like in my case, I just couldn't do it and it wasn't right for me and I just, it wasn't fair for me to continue doing that. So yeah, class of 2023, shout out to everybody who also graduated this year, whether it was middle school, high school, college, whatever. Congrats to you guys. We did it. It was a long journey, honestly. It took me, what, five years to get my bachelor's. That felt like forever. I was expecting to do four years, but then, you know, shit happens, life happens, COVID happened and that's why it took me five years but i made it and yeah it feels good but it's like a confusing time too because it's like what do i do now if i don't have like a job i haven't sat down in a while to talk you know face to face to you guys it's been a lot of music music video reactions and i love doing those too but i miss doing this i don't know i, I felt like i didn't like have the motivation or the will to just sit down and talk to you guys about something about my life so so i graduated you know i'm 23 i turned 23 last month in april and it feels good you know it's like a weight off my shoulders and yeah i had a job actually i applied in april to this job um with a company that helps nonprofits fundraise so this specific company is a fundraising company that's not affiliated with like government, it's uh, self-funded. And yeah, uh, there's more to it and all. And I got the job about two, three days after I interviewed and I thought I was gonna thrive and succeed and be happy there. But I started training this past Monday, like this week, Monday, and I quit Wednesday because I, I just didn't see myself doing that kind of work for a while for not even for a whole week you might be wondering like damn what kind of job was this well let me just kind of describe it a little bit for you so you can know what kind of job it was and why i didn't want to stay with the company any longer it's a company that does really good work they fundraise for really important causes the cause here in san diego specifically focuses on water scarcity and water insecurity all around the world and nationwide but the thing is it's it's a canvassing job and if you don't know what canvassing is it's pretty much approaching people and having people stop and talk to you to give you money in this case it was donations and the donations we signed people up for were reoccurring donations so we didn't take cash and we didn't take one-time donations this was like a, a line of work where you had to pretty much get people to sign up for like a membership to um fundraise or give to the nonprofit. and i think it's a really good cause and I, re I did care about um, the cause itself, which is water insecurity all around the world. People not having access to water. And, you know, we were giving tasks on how to pretty much canvas and approach people, stop people to get to talk to us. And we had a whole pitch that we had to rehearse to get people to sign up and be part of the team. I was there for a full day. The first day we were in Fashion Valley all day. Mind you, like this job, you have to stand all day and pretty much approach people, be those annoying people on the side of the street or wherever the hell you are and pretty much stop people and ask them for money. Now, this is something common you see pretty much anywhere you go. 
uh, where people are asking for money for like a cause or whatever for charity whatever it is and i always i guess I, n I really never saw myself doing something like that and the training obviously told me everything that this job was going to be and i thought it was pretty fascinating like in my mind it seemed pretty nice like the pay was really good too because and it makes sense because of the kind of job it is like you get paid really well for doing something that's pretty draining mentally and just exhausting you're standing all day and you go into random places in the county all week and that's just pretty much what the job is and i just didn't see myself doing i was really unhappy i got home after my first day and i was like fuck like what have i done like what have i signed up myself for it's really good work but i just i don't see myself doing this for like again not even a whole week that's why i had to quit i like for my last day i went in for like the one hour training that we do before we start canvassing and i just i told my manager or my team lead i was like hey i really don't see myself doing this kind of work i'm really unhappy just thinking of doing a whole a full day another full day of this kind of work and i just i have to be honest with myself if i'm not doing something that i feel comfortable with and something that makes me happy i just i i it's not fair for me and it's not fair for the team either way none of the party's goals are being met i had to leave and it was a learning experience because it's made me really realize that i have to look for something that makes me happy something that's fulfilling because this job was the opposite of fulfilling i really appreciated what they were doing what they do for people who don't have water all around the world but like that's not the point the point is actually having the the motivation like the intrinsic motivation to do this line of work it's hard it's really hard and that's why they pay a lot I graduated and i thought i had a job lined up and i mean i did but it's not a job that i see myself being happy doing for a long time so i had to quit i really did and Thankfully, I still have my part-time job, which is something that I will stick with until I find something that feels right for me, you know? So that's like a little update on that specifically. And just honestly, graduating just felt so good. Overall, I'm really excited to have graduated this year and have so many great people around me, my friends and my family. Just wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for them, but also if it wasn't for me. I really put in a lot of the work, a lot of... The dedication and the motivation I had was for myself and I did it because I worked really hard and I just, I can't undermine my own success. I'm really proud of myself and I know people around me are too and yeah, this is just another stepping stone for me. I will continue to look for a job that feels like it's for me and it feels right. So yeah, that's really exciting and I'm excited and scared to continue this post-grad life anyone who feels like they're lost you know you're not alone i felt like that just being with that job i was like no i i need to i need to go and i i feel lost but i will find my way i will find my path because that's just how life works sometimes you gotta give it time you have to put in the work and you have to look for something that just feels right for you thank you again for watching this video this is just not even a long long video is a little update on graduation congrats to everybody again and congrats to me and yeah thank you again for listening to this story and this life lesson of mine and yeah i'm really excited to continue posting i have a lot of great great video ideas for this near future so yeah um like this video if you liked it comment on anything from this video subscribe for more share this post and yeah i'll see you in the next one